Hello there, this is Trunks for you on Nerdy Geeky, uh, and today I just want to talk about my theory on what's going to happen in uh, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Um, this all isn't anything new. Uh, this is all information you can readily find on the internet and information from the trailers. This is just what I think I, I've sort of inferred from what I've seen and heard. Um, if you want to go into the movie fresh, then it's probably not worth watching this video. Um, but if you do want to watch, then feel free to carry on. Um, if not, please change over now. Um, but yeah, thanks for sticking with it, and I'll just quickly run through what I think is going to happen in Star Wars Episode 7, but I'm likely probably going to end up being wrong. So, at, uh, going from the first two trailers, you see uh, there's an X-Wing pilot, and I've heard that he is being sent out on a mission by uh, a princess, and I would imagine, I, I'm guessing, that princess is Princess Leia. Um, it, it's it's been rumoured that Princess Leia is actually being called Queen Leia now, uh, but I don't know if she will because technically there's no older aunt to Queen over, so I, I would imagine that she probably will just be Princess Leia, and maybe Queen's sort of just an honorary honorary title. But that's what's been released. Um, I've got the people up here because I can't ever remember their names, but um, yeah, the uh, Oscar Isaac who plays Poe. Um, he's the guy who's uh, the X-Men pilot, so he's going to be sent out on a mission. Now, I think his mission is to be sent out. Um, it's even going to be some sort of kind of recon, because you, you see a lot of X-Wings in one shot. Or maybe he's sent out on a mission to uh, bring back certain relics, which I think is also Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. Um, though I think before he gets a chance, I think that uh, John Boyega's character, I'm just looking for his name now, um, John Boyega's character, anyway, he um, comes across the lightsaber first, and and I th I think that the, I reckon the lightsaber calls to him maybe maybe it's in some sort of empire relic room, um, and and I think that uh, because at the end of Star Wars Episode Five the Empire still controlled Bespin so I reckon they would have retrieved Luke Skywalker's hand and the lightsaber like they did in the expanded universe or the Legends although I don't obviously they they've always said they're not going to do clones so they're not going to go down the storyline that the that, that they did in the in the books and say that Luke Skywalker was cloned and it's like a Sith version of Luke Skywalker. Um, I certainly don't want Kylo Ren to be a Sith version of Luke Skywalker. I think that would be rubbish. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think that the, maybe the lightsaber is a very powerful relic of, of the Skywalker family calls to John Boyega and he uh, he actually goes and, and, and when, when he finds it, maybe it awakens the Force in him. Um, maybe something like that. Uh, and then obviously he has to get away from the Empire, they're hunting him down, especially if he's Force-sensitive, which, as you've seen in Rebels, um, they either usually kill you or turn you in, into an Inquisitor, and he probably doesn't want either. So um, so I think he's trying to get away, he's probably obviously the one in the TIE Fighter that's shooting up um, the, the, the Star Destroyer, uh, crashes on Jakku, no, it's not Tatooine, it's, it's, a, it's another sand planet called Jakku, uh, and meets up with Rey, uh, played by uh, Daisy Ridley. And... Um, I reckon that they obviously team up uh, through circumstances where he saves a life, maybe she saves his life or something. Um, Ray is interesting. A lot of people are wondering whether she's force sensitive. Um, there's been a few theories that uh, she's got like it looks like a rifle on the side of her speeder. And there's a few theories that some people think maybe it's a, a lightsaber staff. Um, if you do look at one of the ends of the lightsaber, uh, lightsaber. If you do look at the end of one of the ri uh, of her rifle, uh, it it does it does look very very similar to. Um, Darth Maul's lightsaber blade emitters. Now, I don't know whether this is just a, a standard design that they've used or whether it's intentional. Being J.J. Abrams have been being that this is a brand new Star Wars saga, I would imagine that a lot of this is intentional. Um, so I'm wondering whether maybe it does double as a lightsaber or double as some sort of something like that. Um, so maybe she is force sensitive. A lot of people are wondering whether she's Han Solo's daughter and she's been having the Millennium Falcon, but I don't think that's true. I think she's just a new character into the series. Maybe she's force sensitive. I don't know. Um, but I, I certainly think John Boyega is the new Jedi. Then. Um, also, Kylo Ren. Um, not not really much is known about him or, or been released about him. Adam Driver's playing him, but he looked quite young in the film. Looks too young to have been any kind of Darth Vader's secret apprentice or anything like that. Maybe it's similar to the Star Killer storyline. Um, maybe he was um, Luke Skywalker's apprentice and he fell to the dark side, sort of. Um, sort of an homage or maybe like history repeating itself when it comes to Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker. Um, I would like to think that maybe the new one, maybe he is a Skywalker, maybe he is uh, Luke's son, that Luke was training to become a Jedi and he fell to the dark side. I know that's a very Anakin Skywalker, but maybe it's all like, it's all happened before, it all happened again, family curse thing. Uh, and I, I've heard that, that that Luke Skywalker has been in hiding for a while, either that or he's been captured shortly after episode six. Um, I reckon he's probably been in hiding, especially if he's, he's one of his apprentices. 
um, fell to the dark side. Maybe he realised that that Jedi using the Force, maybe they're doing more bad than good. Maybe they, they maybe they cause a lot more wars uh, being around than they would if they just hid away. Or maybe he's been into self-exile for some sort of meditation reasons or anything. But either way, something draws him back. I mean, maybe, maybe the X-wing pilot's mission is to go and find Luke Skywalker. Uh, because I mean, Princess, if Princess Leia is the one that sends him, Luke Skywalker's sister, then maybe she's going to send. Maybe say like, well, we need Luke. We need like what is effectively probably the most powerful Jedi in the galaxy at the moment. We need him to come back. We need his help because there's a Sith and there's a new empire rising. You know, we need his help, but obviously, eventually, he obviously passes down. Um, you see the lightsaber being handed over to someone which looks very similar to Princess Leia, um, very similar to her clothing that she wears in the old old film, so I'm guessing it's Princess Leia. Uh, I would imagine the X-Wing pilot maybe handing it back. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's John Boyega and Rey. Um, but ultimately, um, I know a lot of people have had a gripe about the voiceover for the second one, Luke Skywalker's voiceover, and he he says, um, the Force runs strong in my family. My father has it, I have it, my sister has it, and you have it too. So I don't know whether he's talking to someone in his family. Maybe it's a flashback to when Kylo Ren was young and he's talking to him about becoming a Jedi, and that's actually his son, someone Skywalker, obviously. Um, maybe. And seeing a Skywalker as a bad guy would be quite cool. I know we've had Darth Vader kind of as a bad guy, but the Emperor was really the bad guy. And Darth Vader, if you if you take into account his prequel series, he wasn't technically evil. He just thought he was doing what was necessary to bring peace to the galaxy. Um, obviously Luke Skywalker though was the good guy when Darth Vader was around. In the prequel series you saw Anakin Skywalker as the good guy until about halfway through the last episode, episode 3, where he became Darth Vader and eventually became Darth Vader right at the end, like the Darth Vader we know in the suit. Um, so to see a, a, a Skywalker not fighting a Skywalker, Skywalker is a pure bad guy fighting John Boyega and, 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 and Daisy Ridley's characters, um, that would be that would be very interesting. Um, a lot of people have wondered Oscar Isaac being the fact that he's like a really good pilot. Maybe he's a Skywalker. I don't. Well, he's not for definite because he'd come up as Poe Dameron is his name, so that's been dispelled now. Um, I think it'd be interesting if, if Kylo Ren was a Skywalker. In episodes 1 to 3 and episodes 4 to 6 all about Skywalker saga. So now episodes 7 to 9 will probably be continuing that Skywalker saga in some way. Um, to clear up the whole what Luke's talking about, a lot of people think, oh, well, maybe he's still in communion with his father because he says, you know, my father has it. Yeah, his father has it. It's a quote from episode 6 when his father was still alive. That's why. It's just a direct quote for number six that they added on a little bit extra from the end. It's, I don't think his father's alive. Mm -hmm. There's, there's rumours that Ewan McGregor um, may actually be in the trilogy at some point. Probably is obviously, you know, Force Ghost Obi-Wan Kenobi because unfortunately Anakin has passed away. Um, so yeah, I would imagine so that that's what he's doing. I'd like to see him, but I don't want it to focus on him. Again, I also I don't want it to focus on Han Solo. He's had his day. He had three films, so I would like it to see be passed down to Ray. A lot of people are wondering whether Ray's Han Solo's daughter and Leia's daughter, which is why she be force sensitive. But then why would she be on Jakku scavenging? So and also the Millennium Falcon looks like it's either been scrapped or it's. A lot of people think that Oscar Isaac, uh, Poe Dameron, has been piloting, uh, has been piloting that for 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 a while, and that apparently. Um, Han Solo has his own Super Star Destroyer, and you do see a Super Star Destroyer, I think, in, in one of the things, or you see a Star Destroyer as well. So maybe, maybe that's the story, because he comes in, he's like, Chewie, we're home, and it's just like, well, obviously he's not been on it for a long time, maybe he got stolen, maybe he got scrapped, maybe somebody else has been using it, but they've got their guns out, which makes me think that it's been stolen. Uh, maybe been stolen by Ray and John Boyega at some point. I've seen, I've seen uh, promo shots of all of them sitting in the cockpit. Um, yeah, I, I really want to see Han Solo and Chewie, but I don't want it to focus on them. It's not their film, it's the new cast. I want to see more of the new cast. Uh, tell me what you think. Do you want to see more of the old cast or more of the new cast? Um, that's quite interesting, but I think the old cast have had their day, and I have the new cast and the new Star Wars for a new set of films and new saga. It'd be very good. Maybe we'll get to see... Luke Skywalker is the most I want to see about because I want to see what he's been doing with Rebuild and the Jedi. Uh, Leia's alright, but there's a lot of planets out there, so I'm not really that bothered. Obviously, she's probably been rebuilding the Senate, I would imagine, taking after her mother. Um, and Han Solo, uh, he's probably been, I would imagine, some sort of general admiral or something like that. He's been high up in, in the rebellion 
or uh, the rebel military or the new republic military as it would be now but obviously the, the remnants of the empire are still around um, and if you've seen previews from the new game at first they try and, and give out propaganda that the emperor didn't actually get killed maybe there's a thought out there that the emperor's still alive and people are still fighting for him even though he's dead but I mean it's, it's about 20 years on now I would imagine it's 20 years on not just because the actors are old but it's 20 years on because there's like a new generation of people you know Luke and Leia um, Luke, Luke's son or daughter, uh, Leia and Han, son or daughter. If they follow the legends very slightly, you'll probably see a son for for Luke Skywalker, who does fall to the dark side in the books. I'm pretty sure he does. And um, Han Solo and and um, Leia actually do have a daughter, Jaina Solo, and she is an X-wing pilot for the Rebels. Uh, but she's force sensitive, as she would be, because both Leia and Luke are like a quarter pure force. So. Um, yeah, I, I'm very excited for this film. That's my view on the whole thing. I think obviously there's going to be a lot of traveling around and finding, and eventually the lightsaber is going to be handed back to Leia, who's then going to give it to Luke, who's then going to help quell this film or whatever. Um, but then I think right at the end he's going to hand it over to John Boyega. I think that's, and now you have it too. I think he's going to be like, look, my family's had its day. Now you have it too. Either that, or it's a flashback to what he's talking to his son, because it is kind of a family themed thing to say but obviously it's a flashback to six which was technically chronologically the last film so yeah a lot of interesting stuff's going to happen uh, there's a lot of good actors in it uh, i see they brought out things like andy circus i'm really excited for gwendolyn christie as captain phasma i hope captain phasma's in it for all three films because i love her in game of thrones as brienne um, and it'd be very interesting to see that chrome stormtrooper very boba fett like with the cape i noticed maybe they're replacing boba fett and not having him in it um, I don't really care about Boba Fett. He's a cool character, in the, especially in the expanded universe, but in the films didn't really do a lot, and he's just a bounty hunter. To have someone who's like a chrome stormtrooper, um, and a captain, obviously, with a name. Captain Phasma is like the first stormtrooper we've ever seen with a name. You know, we've, we've heard of numbers like TK-41, if you remember that. And, uh, but that, that's about it, really. Like, but to actually have Captain Phasma, Stormtrooper, Chrome, with a name, and she looks quite badass. I'm actually kind of rooting for it, to be honest with you. Probably uh, Kylo Ren's second in command. That's my theory. What's your theory? Please write in the comment section below or private message me and I'll maybe post a video with, with people's theories of what they've been saying. Uh, if you agree with me or disagree with me, please say. I'd love to hear your theories on the films as well. Do you want to see Kylo Ren as a Skywalker or do you want him to see completely something else? He looks very old style Sith, especially his lightsaber. It's very old style, so maybe he's sort of a history buff or a relic finder. Um, his helmet is very reminiscent of Revan. Maybe he's a fan, some sort of fan of the Old Republic. And they're, they're giving nods to a lot of the Old Republic stuff with, with, with this Sith, and I like that, especially his robes. His robes are very Old Republic. It's not all metal clad or face masks or anything like that, Like as in like breathing masks. Um, they, they've not made him look too much like Darth Vader, although I think he's taking homages from Darth Vader, especially if you see the promo art for the helmet, which comes down like Darth Vader's did, uh, which is with a different mask. So maybe like a Revan slash Darth Vader character, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe he likes Darth Vader because he's related to him. Um, or maybe he just relates to the Sith. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens there. Um, and I'm very much looking forward to when it comes out in December. So please... Thank you for watching, and, uh, and and please write comments in, in maybe what you think. Maybe I'm wrong about something, maybe you've heard more about something. Try and keep it spoiler-free if you've got any exclusive information, but um, yeah, enjoy the film. Thank you.